Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Notes from the Sewing Room. My name's Becky. My channel is all about my sewing, dressmaking, and craft adventures. So if that's something that interests you, then please do subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Today's video is part two of a two-part series of my July makes. So I hope you enjoy it. I've got lots to show you. So let's get on with it. I hope you've been having a lovely weekend and a lovely week, whatever you've been up to. I've got lots and lots of projects to um, show you today, so um, which is why really I've got a two-part series for what I've been making during July rather than just a one one parter. So I hope you enjoy what I've got to show you, and uh, please do leave me a comment below if you've got any questions at all, or if you've got any any other ideas of things that you might think that I would like to make. As you know, I'm always really inspired by seeing what you're making at the moment. So please do um, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Can. Um, I'm always so inspired by other people's makes that I see on YouTube and on Instagram so I really do appreciate you getting in touch. So first things first, let's start. So I shall start by showing you something that I've made for myself and this is a project that I've had kind of on my to sew list for a while and I hadn't really got round to it but I've got this really cute fabric that was in my stash that I've had for a while. I've got just under a meter or so so I thought it just seemed absolutely perfect to make a sew over it ultimate shift top now as you know I am pregnant at the moment I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant if I just uh, stand up you'll be able to tell a little bit uh, more so um, today by the way if anyone's interested I am wearing one of my sew over it Betty dresses so this is um, a regular Betty dress that I'm wearing today I haven't made any changes at all now one thing that I would say that for me personally I, I do find that it goes a little bit wrinkly at the moment around the tummy area um, just because it's kind of being uh, the bodice is being pushed up a little bit to accommodate my bump but generally it's a, it's a perfect fit so I love the Betty dresses as you'll probably know if you've watched any of my other videos so anyway just going off the point a little bit telling you about that so yes um, the sew over it ultimate shift top so I've made it out of a I would I would describe it probably as a cotton quilting cotton type of uh, weight. It's absolutely beautiful, the material that I've got. I'm just gonna hold it up to the camera so you can see it a little bit more. It's got a really pretty print on it. It's got mushrooms, little birds, little flowers. It's really, really cute. Um, and I've decided to make a cropped version. If I just hold that up to myself, you'll be able to see. So at the moment, it would sit just above my bump, which would be really nice. But I thought this is, um, you know, this is not really made for my pregnancy time. This is made for whenever. So I can, I can wear it now. I could wear it, you know, next summer, whenever really, because I think it would look really nice with a high-waisted skirt or uh, perhaps some high-waisted trousers. Although to be honest, I'm not really a trousers wearer. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Um, and um, I've, you may notice I've got a few pins still in there at the moment because uh, I just wanted to put in a, a couple of little hand stitches to hold the facing inside. But um, I quite like the back button closure as well. If I just hold that up to the camera, you'll be able to see. I've added on this really cute little red button that's got little spots on it. So I'm quite pleased with that as well. So I think that will see me out for uh, the rest of this summer and uh, we'll see how we go after that. So, um, but yeah, I've wanted to make one of those for ages and I've just not really got round to it. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is something that I've actually made for my husband. So um, he's always on at me to kind of make stuff for him, like rather than um, just sewing up lots of things for myself, uh, which is fair enough, because I guess just sewing things for me is, um, you know, a little bit selfish, I suppose, sometimes. So I've had a look through my books and I've found a pattern that I thought would be perfect. So you may recognize the fabric from um, the fabric haul video that I did um, recently, if you go back and check that out. So first of all, the pattern is the classic men's t-shirt pattern from this previous British Sewing Bee book. So this is the one called Fashion with Fabric. 
and it's by Claire Louise Hardy. Um, so there's lots and lots of different projects in here that, that you can make, but like I say, I, I went for the classic men's t-shirt pattern. Now it did say that you needed um, a fair amount of fabric to make the, the top out of, so I ordered two meters of cotton jersey from Sew Me Sunshine. Um, but to be honest, I've still got loads left, so it means that I can make either my husband an extra t-shirt or I can make something for the baby or whatever really. So let me just grab the t-shirt to show you. So it's a straightforward plain jersey because he loves a plain top, he doesn't tend to wear patterned um, things very often. So if I just hold this up to myself, you'll be able to see. So it's just the classic men's t-shirt pattern with um, you know regular sleeves and um, I've actually had added in one of my um, homemade kind of made by Becky labels to the top if you can see that on there. I'm, I'm not sure where I got those from now. I think I ordered them from eBay or something like that a while ago but um, my husband has been wearing this a lot since I made it for him. Um, it's a really good quality fabric. It's, it stretches both ways um, and yeah, it, it came really quickly as well from uh, Sony Sunshine, washes really well, um, and to be honest, we've even had an incident with some food down the front, and even that came out okay, and it's still, you know, looking lovely, so it probably needs a bit of an iron, if I'm honest, because I've just grabbed it out of the drawer to show you, but... Um, yeah, I think I really like it, he really likes it, and in terms of the actual pattern, I made the size medium out of the book, which uh, for us seems to be, you know, a, fa a fairly good size, and I'll probably make him some more t-shirts using the same pattern. This is actually the second version of the pattern that I've made for him. I did previously make a grey one a while ago in some uh, other kind of cotton jersey fabric that I think I got from Guthrie and Garney a while ago, but... Anyway, he really likes the pattern and um, he says that he can kind of feel the quality difference between this and some of his shop-bought t-shirts, which is really nice. And it's always a real compliment, I think, to see someone wearing something that you've actually made for them. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. So now next on my list, I've got some baby makes to show you. So in the beginning, I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to make any baby clothes. Uh, because you know I'll just I'll just buy them. I've been trying to get a lot secondhand. I've been really fortunate that I've been given a few things. I bought a few things from eBay, from Facebook Marketplace, that kind of thing. Um, but I've changed my mind and I have made a couple of things and to be honest I'm probably going to make more as well just because they're so cute and they were so easy to do. I think it took me probably about an hour by the time I'd kind of cut one of them out and sewed it up as well so it was a super speedy project that I did after work last Friday. So I'm just going to grab them. So I've made two little projects here. So first of all I've made a beanie hat. So this is called, if I just double check on the pattern it's called the teeny beanie and it's by patterns for pirates so this was actually a free pattern that i downloaded and printed off um, and there's three different variations of the teeny beanie that you can make and it comes in a range of different sizes as well so i decided to trace off the pattern for newborn babies and um, this is what i've made so i've decided to go for the version that's got the little ears which i just thought was so sweet um, although i may go for one of the other ones one of the other designs has got a little knot at the top and there's a plain version as well so if i just hold that up to the camera you can probably see it so yeah, it's super cute. It's got a kind of seam that runs down the middle here. And then we've got these two little ears and then a turn up on the bottom as well. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing my baby boy dressed in that. And the other baby make that I wanted to show you is a little t-shirt that I've made. So I think this should slip on and slip off really easily. And I am planning on making some little trousers to go with this as well. Um, to be honest, I was hoping to have the trousers ready to show you on this video. But when I was sticking the pattern together, I realized that I was actually missing a page. So I was really confused by that. So I'm gonna have to print off the pattern again or just print off that one page so that um, I've got the final piece of one of the legs to, to, to put together. Yeah, completely baffled me that did. But anyway, so um, again, I've used this uh, little um, cotton jersey fabric that I got from, I think it was So Your Own Wardrobe in Leicestershire. I bought it sometime last year from the Remnants bin. I love a bargain from a Remnants bin. And um, I just saw it there. And at the time I wasn't having a baby, but I just really liked it. And I was planning on making a top for myself out of it. but. 
I've ended up using it for uh, making baby makes. But again, I've got loads left, so whether I make more stuff for the baby or I make myself a little matching top, I'm not sure yet. But this is actually a pattern that I downloaded as well um, online and it was free and it's by Brindle and Twig. Um, it's a sewing pattern and tutorial, it says it. It's called the 099 Ringer Tee. So yeah, that's that's the pattern there. Um, but it was really, really speedy to make. If I just hold that up, you'd be able to see it. So it's just got, um, you know, a piece for the front, a piece for the back, two little sleeves, um, and it's got a bottom band, two little cuffs, and a neck band as well. But it was, yeah, lovely to sew, a really, really nice fabric, and um, yeah, just can't recommend it enough really. If, if you're having a baby, one of your friends is having a baby, or perhaps a family member or something like that, yeah, it's just a super speedy pattern. I think the good thing about this one as well is, I think from memory, it goes up to about age six. So you don't necessarily have to be having a baby or have a young child to make it. So I've again traced out this pattern and my hope is that I'll keep hold of this for quite a long time, trace it out, you know, as the baby gets bigger and then hopefully we can, we can keep making it along the way. So you can actually make a t-shirt version or more of a, a long sleeve version as well. So perhaps that could be a sweatshirt if you made sure you've got enough room in there to kind of wiggle around. Now, finally, I've got some other baby makes to show you. So I hope you don't mind me showing you all these baby makes um, and you don't find it too boring. Now, a while ago, um, I was talking about one of my friends that said that I'll need lots of muslin cloths, uh, the type of cloths that go over your shoulder for when you're feeding, or perhaps I can use them in the pram um, as an extra cover up or perhaps I can cover over the changing mat if it's too cold to lie on, um, that kind of thing. So I've now made a whole range of different cloths that we can use that are, um, I would describe them as a kind of a medium size. I'm gonna show you some of them. Now you may know that I bought some fat quarters recently from Aldi supermarket, and I've been working my way through them. I bought two packs, so I'd actually got quite a lot of fat quarters to use, and they were all in various different Paddington Bear designs. I love Paddington Bear and I'm hoping that my little boy will love Paddington Bear as well. Um, I've basically just stitched um, two pieces of um, the fat quarters together and I've done it right sides together, turned it through and then I've top stitched each of them. So I'm just going to hold up a few of them that I've made. So again, really, really simple, straightforward, super speedy makes if you are looking for something for yourself or perhaps for a present for someone else and something that's quite practical. So I'll show you what I mean. So this one, you know, it will sit on my shoulder like this um, and, you know, I, I'm going to hopefully avoid getting some dribbles down here and also um, on the back area as well. So um, this one has got um, Paddington with his little suitcase on the front and then on the back it's got Paddington with some like a stamp design which is quite cute. Now the next one is made out of, again, some of my fat quarters, but it's got a London print on the front, which is quite cute. So we've got London buses. Um, it says marmalade, because as we all know, Paddington loves marmalade, that kind of thing. And then we've got more of a kind of reserved pattern on the back, which again is Paddington, but it's a, it's a sort of white background with orange kind of bits and pieces all over it. So again, that will go on my shoulder and yeah, it will be really super practical to use. Now the other ones are actually made out of um, a muslin type cloth, which um, I think I bought from Esty a while ago. So I did make some similar things to these a while ago, but I've noticed that I did have a little bit more of this fabric left in my stash. So I've been trying to use up all the bits and pieces that I've got. So one is a star design and the other one has got some little colorful elephants on it, which um, I just really liked as soon as I saw it. So again, um, I won't talk too much about these because they're, they're all the same thing. They're just made out of different types of fabric, to be honest. So yeah, so that's the star version. That's the same on the front and back. Um, I've literally just top stitched all the way around all of the edges just to keep it nice and flat so that when it does um, go in the washing machine and whatnot, it will come out and hopefully still look um, half decent. Um, and this is the elephant version as well. So um, yeah, the elephants are in all directions. Um, and yeah, that's the same on the front and back as well. So I'm really pleased with those and hopefully um, they'll stand us in good stead when the, when the baby arrives as well. So yeah, that was quite exciting. Um, so they're all the makes that I wanted to talk to you about today. 
but I wanted to tell you about a few exciting collaboration videos that I'm going to be doing here on the channel so please do keep watch out for them coming up and um, watch my video obviously please and also uh, watch my um, counterparts video as well so I'm going to be doing a video with Laura from the Specky Seamstress channel so um, we're going to be uh, sewing up two different patterns and we're going to be showing those to you so that's going to be uh, hopefully on my channel perhaps over the next week or so um, to be confirmed so uh, keep an eye on my channel and keep an eye on Laura's channel and those things uh, will be on there as well and then another collaboration that I'm going to be doing which is a new one is with Sally from Secret Life of the Seamstress so that one is again going to be on my channel over the next couple of weeks we both used the same fabric, but we're making two different patterns. So I'm not sure what pattern Sally's making, and um, she wasn't sure in the beginning either what I was gonna make. And we've chosen the same fabric, and we're gonna be uh, sewing up uh, you know, some, some garments to share with you, and just to see how the fabric looks different, really, in, in both of them. So I'm super excited about that. And then I'll also be doing another collaboration with Adele from Button and Pip. We'll be doing our hack off challenge um, again at some point, I think during August or maybe uh, early September, again to be confirmed. So yeah, really, really um, looking forward to the next few weeks and uh, the different types of videos that I'm going to be bringing to you here on the channel. And hopefully um, you'll get a little bit of inspiration as well about your future projects based on um, you know what we're all showing to you so I love doing collaboration videos with other people it's just really fun it gives me a bit of a challenge and you know it encourages me to use different fabrics and try different patterns and um, you know actually get things made because sometimes it's quite easy to just have something in your stash and think yeah 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 yeah, I'll get around to it and then not do it but actually having a little deadline to work to sometimes for me is not a bad thing and as you know I do loads of sewing anyway so um, you yeah, know I, I, I love it so you, you can't go wrong really but I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and um, you've enjoyed seeing what I've been making during July if you are enjoying my content please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I update some new content. Um, I really really appreciate all of you who've been with me for a while here on the channel and of course welcome to all of my new recent subscribers as well. I really do appreciate you uh, checking out my videos and um, you know watching what I'm putting on the channel each week. But until next time I shall leave it there and say see you soon. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye!